Hi, um, I just put Google on on my phone and it came up with this from the mirror.co.uk. Mystery sign claiming the earth is flat appears on popular beach. Doctor Who found it has a lot of fun with it. Roll up, roll up for the spherical mystery tour by Nathaniel Tapley. And it was put on at 10.55 on the 20th of September 2017. It was updated at 11.04 on the 20th of September 2017. This is the sign. It's sea level, not sea curve. Do research. YouTube, 200 proofs. Earth is not a spinning ball by Eric Dubay. Wake up. Hmm, does that count as proof? Said Stephen Voss on Facebook. Holiday makers at a beach in New Zealand are having their very concept of a heliocentric solar system thrown into doubt by a poorly worded beach sign. A local flat earth conspiracy theorist put the sign up to float the idea that the earth is in fact a flat disc surrounded by a wall of ice that we think of as the Antarctic. Well, where are they getting that from? Because I don't see anything on that sign saying that it's a flat disc surrounded by a wall of ice. Not one thing there that suggests that. So where are they getting this bit from here? The idea that the Earth is in fact a flat disc surrounded by a wall of ice that we think of as the Antarctic. The sign was found by Dr Stephen Voss, who instantly proved it was nonsense by not being flung into outer space by centrif centrifugal force. Which he would be if we were standing on the outer edge of an enormous spinning disc. Dr Voss said, I was unaware of any local flat earth group, so this is a bit of a surprise. Presumably not as much of a surprise as the fact that he remained stuck to the ground as he said it. As a result of a gravitational force that acts equally in all directions because we're standing on a sphere. The sign points out the horizon with the words it's sea level to imply the horizon is flat. And this is Stephen Voss's Facebook on Friday, the picture, and he put spotted on our walk to Lawyer's Head this afternoon. It appears at the Flat Earth Society. No, the Flat Earth Society is a government controlled opposition to discredit Flat Earth and to make it look stupid. That's why they've got so much stupid stuff on there. I've infiltrated St Kilda. Funny how they, they equate doing research with watching YouTube videos. Those who read the sign are also instructed to download an ebook containing 200 proofs that the Earth is not a spinning ball, or sit through some YouTube videos to teach yourself actual science by looking up flat Earth. The sign is said to be aimed at those who are too dim to understand that the very existence of an horizon below which distant things disappear proves that the Earth is spherical, and yet can somehow read. And that there, they're, taking, they're, they're putting us down, look, there you go, they're saying that we're dim, and but, but we can still read, and that the existence of the horizon below which distant things disappear proves that the Earth is spherical. But we know that things don't disappear over the horizon, because you can zoom in and bring them back into view again. And they only disappear into the atmosphere, because of your perspective, and because of atmospheric, the atmosphere, and everything else. This does, arrive, this does, however, suggest that if flat earthers ever become too bothersome, we can all escape from them by going to hide on the other side of the horizon, where they'll never be able to find us. Every non-gravitational cloud and all that. You see, they're just, what they call it, taking the mic, putting us down, saying we're all dim, but we can still read. Saying that the sign is aimed at those who are too dim to understand that the very existence of a horizon below which distant things disappear proves that the Earth is spherical. But we know that distant things do not disappear over any curvature. We know this. There's been lots of long-range observations done and stuff like that. I've got some myself, which I'll be uploading soon, uh, when I was in Scotland. And another interesting thing as well, when I was in Scotland, that I found was I just managed to walk past it. Um, but he's saying that yet yeah, we can somehow read. Hmm. Thanks for watching.